Blood Monsters. Yes guys, welcome to Toka Race Driver 2, the successor to the very popular Toka Race Driver number 1. And um, yeah, this game is a massive improvement in every way, shape and form compared to the first one. Uh, a better constructed career mode, not so much in the way of story driven storylines I guess. And uh, yeah, the AI don't cheat as much. We've only got a couple of episodes left to do on the first game, so we have to get through to the Elite Championship and all that lovely guff. Um, so I thought I'd get started early on Toka Race Driver 2 and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to quickly create my profile and everything and then we'll get on with the first race or first mission of the game. Right then. Ooh, I wouldn't have known that. You got all that? Cool. Um, so yeah, this is the first, I would call it mission. Yes, 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 whatever. Um, so this time we haven't got Bobby, we've got Scotty. And um, yeah, this is the first mission, it's only one lap and... Oh, shut up for goodness sake man. Um, there was always issues with frame rate on this little mission. Uh, no idea why. The rest of the game is fine. Um, it does judder occasionally. Um, it doesn't matter where you finish on this race either, so might as well just get to the end as quick as possible, and that's it. Okay, son, come on in, and we'll talk. What was that? What exactly was that? You're out there to win races, son. No play bumper cars like a Wayne. If you want to collect paint samples, get down the DIY shop. Less chance you giving me a heart attack. Go get her, lads. Ah, she's not too bad. Bit of hard work will have her smoothed out. Good as new. Right now, my friend, you have got potential. But that's about it. If you're going to make it to the Masters Grand Prix, you're going to need two things. Good professional driving skills and plenty of money. Now, step into my office. Welcome home. We've got everything here. TV, onboard simulator, filing system so as you can plan your next race, and if you want to know the big picture, take a look at this. See, here's where we are now, and here's where we want to be. You might get there in eight seasons, that's about 24 championships. But right now, we need to keep winning that prize money. So, what's first up then? Ah, so there we go then. So... Notice as well that inside of the RV, Winnebago, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty much exactly the same layout as on the uh, Dirt series, especially Dirt 2, I believe. Um, so yeah, it was a good throwback for them to do that. So yeah, this is a more structured career, like I mentioned. That race really didn't really matter at all, to be honest. It was just literally get used to the car, have a feel how things are. And there's always an issue with frame rate on that race. I don't know if it's because it's like a mission. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit uh, weird. But the rest of the game is absolutely fine. It may judder occasionally, but it's not too bad. Uh, also, give a shout out to Catcall. He's already done a playthrough of this. In fact, he's almost finished it. Uh, I'll link uh, his playlist in the description as well, so you can go and check his out. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the championship. We have movies, options, simulator modes, this, that, and t'other. Um, you can have, uh, it says on there, free race, time trial, multiplayer, and online games. Uh, which is, we can do a free race, 0% complete. We'll get on with that at a later time. And we have options, don't need to worry about that. Movies, uh, that's just cutscenes, basically. 
and your profile. So what do we have then? We have two championships to start with. We have the Convertible World Tour and we have the 68 Mustang Challenge. I think we're going to go for the Mustang Challenge, just to be a bit different. Two races then, Road America and Laguna Seca, or as I like to call it, Bart Simpson. Because uh, the track map of Laguna Seca does look like a profile shot of Bart Simpson with a really weird arm. Yes, anyway, let's get on with race number one. Estimate championship length is 9 minutes and 11 seconds. So it's good, it gives you, a, you know, a, a little time on how long it will take to complete, which is good. So anyway, opponents 19, let's get on with it. Lovely. All right. And off Remember, we go. This championship's all about getting on the podium. That way we qualify for the big earning races later. Yeah, you see, the uh, frame rate of this is absolutely fine. It does still have the same issues of the first Talker Race Driver, where they have the foreshortening effect in car. So it looks like the car is uh, going a lot slower than it really is. Uh, also, none of the other cars have numbers on their doors, which is a bit worrisome. God, I haven't played this game in so long. It's so cool. Alright, let's get past this doofer. Only four gears, of course, because they're muscle cars. Nice driving there. Yep, nice driving indeed. Just bash my way through up into second. Yeah, notice the AI don't just pull away and are never seen again. No, it is more realistic on this game. The AI do play a lot more fair. And uh, you can actually have a decent race with them this time, instead of, I don't know, trying to cruise around in last place while they all go around and uh, drive on rails. But there you go. Now, we will do everything. We'll do the uh, single race event things as well to get 100% on that, as well as the career mode. So, yeah, all good. But yeah, the, the frame rate isn't consistent on this game, I must admit. Um, Rick had the same problem as well when he was doing his series. Uh, it tends to dip below 60 quite a lot. I mean, the only issues that I've had on this game is literally the frame rate. The first and second race driver games, no problem at all. No problems with frame rate. But this one always seems to have a little weirdness when it comes to it, so no idea why. Also, I forgot to uh, put my wing mirrors on and stuff so I can see who's behind me. Instead, I got those stupid arrows. I'll do that when we finish the race. So, yeah, it took long enough. Just one more lap. You can do it. I can do it. Yes, I can indeed. Thank you, Scott. Ah, uh, but it's so nice to have uh, no Ryan bitch tits McCain to worry about this time. It is still slightly story driven, but not nearly as much as it was in the first game. Um, they thankfully moved away from that aspect, um, gone to a more career based structure. Unfortunately, no steering wheel though, they did do away with that. I think they they done the same with the third one as well, there's no steering wheel. It's just literally like a dash cam with a bit of blurring on top and sides, but oh well. We'll, we'll forgive it its discrepancies. It's still a damn good game, a lot better than the first. It looks like we're on course for a victory in race number one. Oh, another thing, you have fuel as well. You can actually do real life length races in the uh, the single race event. And you have to make pit stops because you do deplete your fuel and your tires and everything else. 
but uh, it's not 100% realistic because um, none of the AI drop. What do you mean they're on my tail? They're nowhere near me. Bloody hell, Bob. Bob. I was going to call him Bobby, but it's not. It's not Bobby anymore. It's Scotty, isn't it? Yeah, go back to spec saver Scotty, for God's sake. Um, yeah, none of the AI drivers retired, just like on the first race driver game. So, uh, yeah, no matter how hard they crash or you go into them, they will never retire. So, oh well. But anyway, victory in race number one. Hooray! Don't look now, but you're winning. Don't look now, but you're winning. Ah, lovely. And there we go then, a bit like the first game as well, you have a little standings that tells you who finished where, and we get the win. Look at that, Connor Moore, Lino Perez, the top three, so we'll continue to the uh, next race, and you can see the points. Come on, get back up to the points. There we go, yeah, 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1, so only the top six, again, get points just like the other game as well. And there we go, so... There is a, an issue as well with um, the uh, little graphics you can see where it says continue, the, the little things disappeared. It always does that for some weird reason. So, uh, yeah, we need to get on the podium to qualify for the big earners coming up next. Um, we're leading the championship. So let's carry on with Laguna Seca. And off we go. Now what I'll do, some championships you only have one time to get into them I guess, so the championships that we unfortunately miss I will do on the single race option menu thing, whatever. Ooh, getting a little ass happy on that one. So yeah, this is the game, well, this is the start of it anyway. If you notice, with the Tonka games or grid games, you always start off in some way, shape or form in either a Mustang or something very similar. The same thing happened with grid. The first car you get was a, uh, a Mustang. I think it must be their favourite car. Right, just scoop up the inside of you going into the corkscrew maybe, not quite. Yep, there we go, done. Race is practically finished because I've won. So we can just cruise to the line. Which is great. I'll just handbrake it around the corner, or maybe not. It doesn't quite work. Not with these cars, anyway. But yeah, with this game there's a lot more variety in circuits as well. Championships, a ton of championships. Um, single race events. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a lot better structured. I don't think it uses the tier um, management system that you have in the first game. It has like uh, post-it notes with the championships that you can go into before you get to the, uh, the final championship of the game. Which I'm not going to spoil for you, but... It's pretty difficult, if I remember correctly, from years past when I last played this game. And before you ask, this is the PC version. Great work, lad. You are leading the pack. I am leading the pack. Thank you, Scotty. That is absolutely wonderful. Now, I'm not sure if my wheel is compatible with this game. I believe it might be. Um, I was going to test it, but then I became lazy and thought, nah, so I don't, I'll just use my uh, Xbox controller. Because, why not? And there we go. Another race, another victory. These championships are very easy. They do ramp up in difficulty the later you get into the season. But so far, so good. Back in the trailer. I see him back at the trailer, you Scottish wee bastard. 
Well, you're doing all right, son. Yeah, there's not much more than a piggy bank. Nice race. No, thank you. No, thank you what? No, thank you, whatever you're peddling. Hey, Scotty, how about you park your mouth and let your pal here make up his mind? Cat Silva, pleased to meet you. Sports agent wants to handle you. Forget it, Hen. We're independents and what's more, I've never heard of you. Hen, well, nobody ever heard of your boy here either, yet. So what? We're both starting out. We've both got potential. What we got is bills to pay. Exactly. You need money. So, here's the deal. I've been watching you. I like the way you drive. And if you can score in the next championship, I might be able to put a deal together. What kind of deal? I'm working on it. <laughs> Look, when it comes to racing, Mr. Irving here knows what he's talking about. But when it comes to making money, I'm your girl. Thanks for the drink, Scotty. Are you always this annoying, or is this a treat? I grow on you. <sighs> One thing about this game is that the character models and the lip syncing has been drastically improved on the first game. Uh, their heads don't wobble around like... Uh, dashboard novelties but there you go so 20 points from eight and we win the championship so that was fairly easy and now we have formula fords which i absolutely enjoy i do love the formula ford championship but we shall do that next time so i'll leave it here for now thank you very much for watching as always and i will see you for the next episode of Toco race driver 2 take care